Yay, we're on the way to get the lathe. Coburg from Kingston. Getting on the 401. Still last night. It's gonna be fun. Just here with my buddy. Super excited. Tortoise fall. A lot of cleaning required. Live center. Age 42, which means it has Timken bearings. Possibly the original motor. I don't know if it came with a Hoover. Some gears already in. Missing the original cover here. I'm gonna have to change this up because this is gonna be very noisy. Well, the slave itself is gonna be noisy, but. And then tooling came with all of this stuff. So, appears to be a full gear set. I don't know what's missing. Some brass shims. Bolt. Um, Pieces of brass, I don't know. Die. Scads. Tons, tons and tons of. I assume these are carbide.
corning bar here. Another live center. Kind of a weird one, I guess. Jacob's checked it. I don't have a key for it, so I have to get that. Um, steady rest. Well, part of a steady rest. Carriage stop, maybe. I don't know what it is. Knurling tool. Um, I don't know what this is. Faceplate, dog. Three jaw chuck. Chuck key. Piece of sharpening stone, Arkansas. Lots of bits. Boring bar. Center drills. Allen key. Dead centers. Um, this is what the gears were on. I don't know what this is or what it's from. Oh, these things. I do not know what these are. They're very strange. Pause the video for a second. Diamond cutter of some kind? I don't know. No idea what that stuff is. Some that might mean something. Again, don't know what this is. So, the screw was in one of the drawers. A lot of work to do to get this old girl to run, but I think it'll, all right, it'll be all right. The bed doesn't look like it has any major dings and damage. Gonna have to do a lot of cleaning here. Spray it down with some grease and some oil to try and break up the rust. Yep, made a good choice.